remember a clumsy girl hiding behind glasses. I was just a lonely boy, always skipping classes. Oh, we came from different worlds. It didn't slow us down. Who knew? Who knew? I remember love like fire, hands held tight. I was barely getting by. This is Aaron here. Um, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to redo my um, what I'm packing for my travel trip to camping. I'm going to redo that one. Um, what I pack because I added heaps more things, not heaps, but yeah. And I'm going to add it with the actual packing video because I have done my packing today so um I've got all my stuff I've got my crate with some stuff in it which I sit on because it was handmade for me um my suitcase this is a little esky for in the car this box has all the stuff that I'm putting in here that my mum packed together sorry about that. it's like sort of a beer box but that's okay um and my little thing you've heard of already so we'll start off with that so this is a, if you haven't seen it already, this is a, um, like a little lap desk. It is made of wood and you just put it with you in the car or on the couch or anywhere that you need like a little desk, maybe even your bed. And it's got like a little comfy cushion. Sorry about the fluff, my cat was laying on it last night. Yeah, it's really squishy and it velcros going to do that because it takes a while to put back on and yeah so that is from office works i think it was 15 dollars or 20 dollars and it's from slumber trek oh, i'm like that's the brand so yeah that's our first thing then we've got my bag which has some extra things that couldn't actually fit in the box that mum gave me um so we've got my fluoro um cushion thing for in the car like a neck pillow just yeah and I've got just a little dangly thing from Japan in here. I don't know what I'm going to put. Probably nothing. Okay, so when you open it up, these are the big things that can fit in the box. We've got my speakers because I'm going to be watching lots of stuff and editing maybe in the car. Yeah, so that's them. We've got... And then in here is like my hygiene thing. Because we're going to be in there for like two hours. So got to... Just make sure that we stay clean and nice and comfy. So first up we've got these little um, purple lavender scented bags. I use these just for rubbish or used wipes. These are wipes just to clean your hands and your face and all that. Sorry about the container, that's just an old one that we used for in the car. Um, I've got my fluffy socks. They're really fluffy. I love them. I've got a little pig with a bunny tail, it's weird. And then in this little pocket, I'll open it up, sorry, you're looking at my rug. Yeah, I'll just sit you there. Oh my God, who oh will? I'm just gonna have to look at my container. Okay, so, whoa, I'm sorry. I'm really bad at this. I've got my Revo, which is like a knockoff um, of, um, whoa, of, what do you call it? Oh, EOS and it's watermelon. It's my favourite. I have a coconut one as well that I bought yesterday. I've got my deodorant. No one needs to see that. I've just got some nice um impulse, which is the London flavour the oh, flavour, I said flavour, the London scent just to make me smell nice. And then I've got some hair elastics in this little container. So yeah, that's that bag. Okay. And then here's the bag. It's got um, a pocket in here that has something in there. Right. Sorry about that. Okay. Which is a glow stick, a um, tw 12 hour single use instant glow stick for like emergencies. Or just to have fun with and yeah that's what's in there so that's that bag then we've got I'll show you this this is sort of an esky looking teeny esky 
So first is the front pocket. I haven't got anything in yet in it yet because we're going tomorrow. Um, and I don't want to put food in it. It'll go all stale or off or something. So there's a little pocket you can put some paper in there. I don't know what they think you should put in there, but oh well. And then you just open it up and it's like a normal esky. It's got lots of space. Yeah, I'm just going to put some water bottles in there and yeah, for in the back. Then we've got this box filled with stuff. That's just something. Um, it's got all my scissors, um, which will go in this bag. Um, Mum just didn't want to put it in there, and I didn't want to put. Yeah, it's just confusing. So I need to get to the scissors so I can cut this open. I just oh, now I've lost them. I just decided to wrap it all nice. This is my mum's um, cider box. Yeah, I'm weird. Just saying. So, if we open the top. So, first up, as you can see, there's a little letter. I'll read that one day. Okay, so, first up, we've got a little envelope thing. There's a little knob on the top. And I've also, these are just printouts, I know about these, because my mum showed them, me them. Um, and I printed out a few more because I realised that we were going for a way long time and I only have like two in here. Okay, so, um, we've got this one, which is like, they call it a cootie catcher, but I don't know what, why it's called that. It's like a fortune teller thing, yeah. And then we've got some origami instructions and then there's origami paper. And that's in a folder. And then the ones that I printed today was a scavenger hunt. So you have to look for all them things. An alphabet game where you like say A, you've got to look for something in the car or out of the car where near you to start with A. Um, another scavenger hunt and another scavenger hunt one. I like scavenger hunts. Okay, so next in the box, let's just pick up oh, Sudoku. If you don't know what Sudoku is, just look it up because I'm not going to tell you because it's really confusing to tell people. So yeah, and it's got some colours. I probably won't use them because I've got my own. Here's some origami paper. That's heaps of it for all the origami instructions I showed you before. What have we got? Oh, that fell off something. Okay, so... Here we've got a quiz box from Smiggle, and I don't think they sell these anymore, but it's where you um, have, say, a question. This is if you were posting on someone's wall, inviting a friend, or tagging a photo, where would it be? Would you be? Like, yeah, it's confusing, and there's all different ones all around um, Australia and America. So, yeah. Here we've got some scissors to cut out the um, fortune teller thing. And then we've got, okay, these are like pen texture marker things. So I'll try to open it with my foot. Okay, there we go. Because last time I opened it, it spilled everywhere. So we've got all different colours and then on the other side, but then when you say lay it down because it's easier when you open it up you can see them all and you can just pop them out and pop them back in so yeah that's them and it comes with a nice little travel case thing oh here now this is probably confusing to you you probably have no idea what it is but ready go see it's a little flashlight yeah it's not very big it's like in the night if you need to go to the toilet then you can just use that and then we've got oh here's a game it's in the car um you just shake it around until until it's flat and then you twist it up and then when that green light goes on you um you have to quickly um before it goes off when it goes off then that means that um you have to stop playing the game and the game is that you have to make as many 
um, words as you can with all these letters. So I'll just leave that and show you what it looks like when it turns off. Okay, the last thing in this box is my scarf. Because it might be cold when we get there. Because it might be night or day, I don't really know. So yeah, that's that scarf. So next, I'll just move all my stuff. Okay, next we've got my suitcase. So this is a SAB. Um, I don't know what that says. I don't know. It says something travel. And it's a really good one because um, one of the reasons is that, see this zip, you unzip it and there's like an extra bit of fabric so that the um, it can lift up and you can put more things in it, which is good because you, you um, go to a big holiday where you're going to spend lots of money like this and then you come back with it like that high. It's really cool. Okay, so... Unzip that. I have nothing in the first pocket because I don't think I need anything there. So first up, you can just see the top overview. Don't need to see any more than this. So first, I just didn't know where to put this, but this is just my jar thing in one of my other hauls. Except when I tried to wash the straw, because you have to wash a straw, I realised that it was cardboard. Who does that? Like, what do they expect us, like, to keep it and um, I don't know so in this small pocket here I just put a whole heap of other green straws I'll show you uh, if I can get one here yeah just a whole heap of these little straws just to because they fit perfectly in the hole if I can get it in oh my god there yeah so that's that and then I've got these buckles which tighten it up so that you can fit more things in on the top if you need to. So, on the top, I've got my little cardigan and a few dresses. Just two. This one and a blue one. And then I've got my pant, long pants, some summer jammies, and under that is a few t-shirts. And I've got long sleeve t-shirts, jammies, some togs, and I've got my um, rashy somewhere in here. That sounds funny, rashy. Got my rashy. And then all my undergarments. I don't know what that sound was. It scared me. Oh, that's what it was. It was the boggle. <laughs> See, I haven't played this in ages because the batteries ran out and we just got new batteries because it's a special, like a tiny, teeny battery that fits right in the top here. Yeah, so it's not actual battery, so you have to go buy them especially. So, yeah, and then there's this other compartment. I've got my toiletry bag and some extra warm jammies just in case I spill something on the other ones. We'll get them dirty or something because we are staying for nearly a week. So in here, um, I still haven't put in much because I still need a lot. I just put it in to show you. I've got my hairbrush some bobby pins in another or one of them containers i won't pull it out um i might as well so bobby pins and my hairbrush then in this one we've got teeny everything we've got tiny um body wash tiny shampoo um not that's not tiny that's just a toothbrush we've got some tiny um, toothpaste like I got this from the dentist um, ages ago and it, it was empty and I just squirted heaps more and it was made a bit of a mess but oh well that'll do me for a few days and then I've got my mini conditioner from when I went to camp I didn't really use it much because it was, wasn't a big time yeah probably did I don't know I haven't used it in ages Alright, okay, and then in this, this is like a waterproof bag thing, in, and when you're at holidays, you can't just put your soap, you use soap up on, up on a little ledge, otherwise other people will find it and chuck it out or something, and you don't want to get all your toiletry bag all wet and yuck and sticky, so 
so this is waterproof so you can just put it in there tighten it up so it doesn't spill everywhere and use it again and I've got my little soup here so that's it for my suitcase now for the crate this is a handmade crate that I got for my um, I think my 11th birthday yeah so it's got a little flower on here and some ribbon all around it and then there's it come came with a bag of the same material like this but I'm not using it today and it's got like a wooden frame and some like pillow cushioning okay in here I haven't got much because I'm putting extra shoes that I'm using now so I've got my runners that are nice in there and my soccer ball and then where is it I don't know where it is I think it's under here yeah um, my wall pump and as you can see the pump thing isn't here because this one is really good so that you don't bend the actual pump or the attachment you can just unscrew it and place it in here see there it is and just put it inside and shut it back up so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a good holiday. I probably won't be vlogging anymore. I don't know. Maybe I might if I have time, but I will be pretty busy. So, yeah. See you later. Here's an overview of all the mess I have to clean up now. <laughs> See ya.